thank you so much for letting me come over and tell you a little bit more about mood pods a lot of times people don't want to hear more about mood pods so i can't tell you how excited i was when you said that you wanted to hear a little more about them um, do you know anything about mood pods thus far Okay, great. So I'll explain the whole thing to you um, about what mood pods are and how they work and how you can purchase them through me, how you could potentially sell them if they're a product that you super, super love. Um, I'll tell you all about the history of mood pods and, and why they were invented. Um, all of that and yeah I have my whole my whole um, little spiel to give you so I guess I'll just get started whenever you're ready to get started okay so these are the mood pods but I also have um, a binder to go through with you uh, that kind of talks all about mood pods and how they started and um, how they were invented and everything but real quick I'll just show you one of these this is one of the mood pods um, this is the, the funny mood pod and what it does is it releases the scent of herbs and ingredients and um, oils and such that are all mixed together in here and the, in the perfect amounts and the scientific quantities of each of those things and then if you push on it it releases the scent of those that blend of herbs that proprietary blend and you feel that emotion so right now I've been playing with this one and I'm starting to feel a little sillier um, because it, it does do that it's the funny one I'll show you the rest of these um, pods that I have in a second but first I thought we would go through the binder that I have which is the materials and the information and everything about mood pods and, and what they are and how they got founded and, and everything like that. So we start on the first page of the binder, which is one of my favorite um, pages of the binder. It says mood pods, which is the name of the company, and then it has our beautiful logo. we have this next page that kind of asks the question that's on everybody's mind of what are mood pods and then got this little smiley face um, here who is um, thinking and he's thinking or she's thinking or they are they per perhaps are thinking hmm you know and they're wondering what is a mood pod? <laughs> so first and um, foremost, mood pods are a uh, revolutionary product. Um, they are um, innovative. They are an innovation. Um, they are unlike anything that's ever been on the market before these are our lovely um, founders this is mr. Lindsay and this is miss Leslie Larafee the Larafees founded mood pods in 2012 and of course all of the people involved with mood pods are forever grateful to, to mom and dad um, for for making this incredible product. 
they're our founders and our leaders and we look up to them a lot and and you should listen to the two of them speak at conference they just have such a way with words they can make you feel so motivated and so energized um they might even do a better job of changing your mood than mood pods do. I always love how Miss Leslie is just kind of the image of class, the image of restraint and beauty. Um, She's just so pretty and she gets up there and she talks and, you know, um, just the way she says things. She's just so classy. She goes to church. Um, she volunteers uh, for the foundation that they run, the Mood Pod Gives Back Foundation. She often volunteers for it. And then Mr. Lindsay is just kind of stoic and inspiring and that kind of thing where you just kind of look at him and feel inspired. Um, he dresses really nicely. Uh, he's got like a big voice, you know. He talks really slow and um, kind of quiet, so you have to listen. Um, and he also goes to church. And they're just such a nice, beautiful couple, and they're so in love. Uh, they're always kissing um, on stage and um, holding hands everywhere they go. Okay. Leslie and Lindsay saw the need for mood pods and delivered. Um, I'm probably going to butcher this origin story, but uh, the story goes that um, Leslie and Lindsay were on a first date and they went to this like scary amusement park thing where um, these scary um, actors and stuff come up and you know they'll pop up behind you and they'll say boo or you know they'll be saying crazy stuff but anyways they were at this haunted attraction and um, Leslie, Miss Leslie is such inspiring woman and she's kind of difficult to scare and they were at this first date at this scary place and and Mr. Lindsay wanted to just wrap his arms around um, Miss Leslie to comfort her but she wasn't scared and so they were talking and they're like what if I could just press a button and be scared and fix this date and that's kind of the beginning of the idea for mood pods is what if I could just press a button and feel XYZ and I just think that's so cool. So they definitely saw a gap in the market. Nobody was doing what Mood Pods was doing. Um, and they then kind of sought out the science, um, started doing research and and realized that there's a proprietary blend um, of herbs and spices and oils and such that if you blend it together, makes you feel a certain way. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mood pods are made from a proprietary blend of herbs and spices. And each different pod that's meant to make you feel a different way has a different blend inside of the pod. Um, because, you know, the, the, the herbs and the spices that'll make you feel scared aren't the same herbs and spices that'll make you feel excited. Right. Um, feel confident with our confident pods. This woman was in a Depends um, advertisement and Depends being diapers. Uh, if you're an adult for adults, for older adults, adult diapers. And uh, she took one of our, um, uh, she, she smelled, she activated one of our 
mood pods for confidence and experience confidence even though she was posing for this. Okay. And you can sell mood pods too if you like this product. Um, you can join what's called a downline and I would kind of be your boss. Um, nobody's in my downline so far, so you'd be the first one. Um, incredible results. And then this is when I'm talking about the incredible results. So let me just really quick, I'll show you the pods and then I, I can tell you more about if you want to join as a seller. Okay, these are just the samples that I have here today, and I'll go over each of these one by one. So, this first mood pod is called Competitive. And it is meant to make you feel competitive. A lot of people, um, they don't, they don't have a natural sense of like, I've got to beat this person. And so, when it's time for game day, they don't have that go get them attitude uh, that they're maybe supposed to have. So competitive mood pod will make you kind of feel that cutthroat attitude. I believe there's you know some cinnamon in here, um, maybe some pepper, a lot of herbs and spices to activate your competitive nature. Um, these are great if you have a field day and you maybe have a child that doesn't get as into rough sports, you can give them a competitive pod and see if maybe that starts to act, activate him or her or them. Um, if you are having a big business competition or business meeting, uh, maybe if you if you were an Olympian, perhaps, maybe we could get Simone Biles some of these. Uh, not that I really think Simone Biles needs some. Um, but yeah, I've taken the competitive. Um, my my in-laws are a nightmare when it comes to playing Monopoly, so I use competitive when I'm trying to get zoned up, keyed up, um, to be just as excited and all of that as they are. So that's that one. This is one of our most popular mood pods. I'm sure you can guess why. It's the mood pod happy. It makes you feel happy and a lot of people want to feel happy. I certainly use this one all the time. It's got lemon got citrus of a lot of different varieties in here. Um, I believe it even has a bit of um, paprika. So uh, yeah, so let's, it can't help in serious situations like for example if you're experiencing a loss um, or a divorce the happy mood pod doesn't necessarily make that all go away, but if you're experiencing something a bit more mild, um, like if they didn't have the milk you wanted at the milk store, uh, if they didn't have the milk you wanted at the milk store, um, this could be really helpful to just kind of bounce back from that. Um, if you lost, if you forgot to bring your competitive mood pod to, to um, the, the bowling alley and you lost a game of bowling, perhaps you could use Happy to get your um, 
um, since it's kind of restarted and kind of get going again. Yeah, so that's happy. Um, this is Sha. Um, sometimes we can be a little too outgoing and we need to get a bit more reserved for the occasion. If you, you know, find yourself always talking in class or something and you need something to kind of rein you in, this could be that. It's got cilantro for sure. I believe some baking soda. Um, I don't use this one too much because I'm already a little bit shy. I tend to use confidence more, but also if you happen to use confidence a little too much and you need to rein yourself in, uh, you can use some shy to kind of counteract that. This can make, you know, the girls to have that perfect level of coy. <laughs> I don't know. you can get a little overstimulated, you know, uh, maybe you just went to Six Flags over Texas and you feel kind of, whoa, bored can help you get back to like a state of kind of blue, like on Christmas, if you've had a big Christmas and you need to get back to like, okay, um, because you're so amped up. Sometimes people use board for that. People also use board, like, I've known some parents that when their kid is playing a video game that they're kind of addicted to, they'll play board, they'll, they'll start to play with one of these boards right next to their kid just to kind of release that and trick the kid's brain into thinking that that um, game is boring. Okay. This is my husband's favorite. It's called Red Rage, and it's got notes of cherry, tahine, uh, cardamom, and it induces rage, makes you feel super, super angry, which you may be wondering why anyone would want that, but, you know, sometimes you need to get geared up to do something big, and people use this before they have to do maybe a boxing fight or a soccer game in some extreme cases. Um, red Rage can be used to get fired up for a debate. Um, and also sometimes rage is better than sadness, right? So if you've just experienced perhaps a breakup and you're in that sad about it phase, you can use red rage to get into that angry about it phase, which can be more fun than the sad about it phase, in my own opinion. I take red rage from time to time um, when 
it's like a situation where I need to stop being sad, start getting angry to get stuff done. Um, there was a pothole outside of my house and I kept crying about it, but then I took red rage and I called my district and I got it fixed. Okay, here's another kind of um, more niche one. It's called Straight Up Sad. This is if you need to feel sadness for whatever reason. Perhaps you're on a medication that makes it difficult for you to feel genuine sadness and, and you've just experienced something that helped to make you genuinely sad. Um, straight Up Sad can be great for that. Also, if you're not having the appropriate reaction. Um, let's say your grandmother passed away, but you had a super rocky relationship with your grandmother when she was alive. Um, so you don't actually feel sad, but you're about to go to the funeral. You can use straight up sad, which has some notes of salt and lavender, uh, baby's breath, um, I believe some celery salt as well. Uh, you can use straight up sad to get activated into the correct emotion for the um, activity. If sad is the emotion, it's also great. If you're a songwriter or something, you need to get in your feels. See, you can hear the proprietary blend. This one's funny. Just makes you funnier. Um, it's got a lot of different things in it. It's got basil and uh, nutmeg, and you know, if you're the kind of person that's not that funny, doesn't have a lot of great ideas, this can help. Um, it's not going to make you a stand-up comedian. You know, you're not going to go from um, Barbara Walters to Amy Poehler overnight, but. It does just help kind of shake those nerves, those social nerves. Um, and then if you're in a situation where you need to be funny, uh, like maybe you're on that RuPaul's Drag Race and, and you're more of a glamour queen, um, but you know, RuPaul keeps throwing you the improv challenges. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure the queens would love to have funny in that scenario. Leva, we, we already covered this. I talked about it, but this is the physical uh, confidence. It's got some uh, ashes, the ashes of just a fire, not the ashes of a body. And it's also got um, bay leaves, tea, just straight up tea in here, green tea, I believe. And it really is great if you're, you know, um, if you're going out doing something hard. Um, I, I, um, I'm not sure, but if I were the President of the United States, I'd definitely be using this one. Okay, I know that you said that you probably didn't want to sell anything, but um, I did want to briefly go over kind of the structure of the company. So when you first get started, um, you're a mood specialist, and I believe in the company total there's um, probably 100,000 or so mood specialists. I am a mood specialist. I'm hoping to become um, a mood connoisseur soon. Um, so if you're a mood specialist, but you, and then you manage to get 10 people 
in your downline, you become a mood connoisseur. Um, I believe there's about 10,000 mood connoisseurs in the company. And then if you're a mood connoisseur and you get in your downline, each of the 10 of your downline gets people under them, then you become a mood professional. I think there's like um, a thousand mood professionals in the company. And then if the people under those people get 10 more people, you become a mood savant. There's 302 mood savants in the company. Then you become a gold expert if you get people to come in under those people. There's 11 gold experts in the company. And then you become a platinum expert. Um, there are three platinum experts. And then it keeps going up. There's some levels that don't have anyone. And then at the tippy tippy top are beautiful founders. <sighs> Mr. and Mrs. Larafee. Mr. Lindsay, Miss Leslie, they're at the top. Really, the reason we do this is, A, I've got a wonderful product that I'm selling. Um, I haven't sold any yet, uh, but I'm, I'm hoping you're the first, maybe. Um, so we get to sell this incredible product. And just look at the way that um, Mr. and Mrs. Larafee are living. They have the most beautiful home. It's ginormous. It probably has like 12 um, just bathrooms, just 12 bathrooms in it. Um, and they have so many cars and uh, they had a private um, viewing of uh, Beyonce's concert. <laughs> um, they paid her, I think it, they said, yeah, that they paid her 30 million to uh, to do a private concert and I think that's that's what everybody wants right we all want to have a private concert from Beyonce and it's just hard you know it takes it takes good consistency it takes good commitment it takes hustling and you know some some days I'm not as good at hustling as other days and it's really really tricky and um I've put a lot into the business. Uh, I think I've paid $15,000 so far on product. Um, they just keep coming out with revolutionary proprietary blends and so I have to get my hands on them. But you're right, you know. Um, I'm thinking about stepping away for a bit. It's just really hard because I've already spent $15,000. But you're right that, um, that maybe that would be good for me, you know, uh, just to get some clarity. I feel like maybe I've been a bit um, disconnected, um, a bit zoned out um, at my job, which uh, isn't good because I'm an emergency room nurse. Yeah, you've given me a lot, uh, a lot to think about. You know, that that's a that's a lot of information. Cause I had noticed that there were a lot more people at the bottom than the top. But I kind of thought I don't know. You know, um, you know, it's, I, I still love the pods. Pods are so great. Um, but I hear what you're saying too. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you've got this, and so do I.